call on the next speaker, Mr. Sayan Sarkar, Bio CNG Plant from Filter Cake, Way Forward for the Show Industry. Uh, you have 20 minutes, uh, Mr. Sayan. Mr. Sayan, Mishdek Heavy Engineering Limited. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Please keep in mind you have 20 minutes for your presentation. Sure, sir. So good afternoon, uh, everyone, and regards to my elders. I'm Sain Sarkar from Sugar and Distillery Division of Isjak Heavy Engineering. And today I would like to present on the very topic on the, of the webinar, that is how to uh, improve the financial health of the sugar factory, a way forward. What the sugar industry can look forward to is uh, bio CNG from filter cake. Is there some interruption in this? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, slideshow. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Okay, go ahead. Is it visible now, sir? Yeah, now it's visible. Okay, sir. So as we all know that uh, Indian sugar industry, uh, one of the largest process industries and also contributes to majorly to the national economy and uh, being uh, an agro-based uh, industry generates a number of uh, co-products with a significant amount of organic matter that can be converted to green energy and valuable chemicals by means of uh, various biochemical processes. and. Uh, Nowadays, the concept of biorefinery has come up. Uh, sugar plant is no longer uh, on, only a sugar plant. It uh, generates uh, cogen power, ethanol, and also has the potential to provide uh, biofertilizer, biogas, and graduated chemicals. Next, the uh, national biofuel policy declared by government of India, under which the government is making all efforts to produce uh, ethanol, biodiesel, biogas, various biofuels, and several financial assistance schemes, interest subvention schemes, soft loans have been declared from time to time. And as we all aware of uh, the ethanol uh, policy of the government of India, several uh, ethanol plants are being uh, financed and assisted in uh, various ways to achieve ZLD. And uh, the sugar industry has already established itself as the largest uh, supplier of ethanol for blending. Another very important uh, scheme, particularly for CBG, that is uh, Satat scheme already mentioned by uh, previous speakers, is sustainable alternative towards affordable transportation. Under the scheme, which was uh, declared in October 2008, the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas is planning to set up 5,000 CBG plants by 2023 to 24 uh, with a production capacity of around 15 million tons of CBG. Initial uh, phase of signing of MOUs with uh, the public sector OMCs has already uh, is underway and uh, they are inviting uh, much more participants under this scheme. Also, RBI has been directed to uh, bring up CBG on priority. And the price of CBG uh, has been set at 46 rupees per kg under the scheme. The sugar sector, already uh, after ethanol as a major biofuel from molasses and sugarcane juice, uh, this press mud or filter cake that has all its uh, potential having a 70, around 70 to 75% organic matter uh, on total solid to uh, give a boost to the economic health of the sugar sector. Let's take a look at how it can uh, generate additional revenue. This is the last uh, sugar crushing uh, data. Based on that, an estimation of around 150 to 180 crore of uh, additional revenue can be generated just from uh, CBG. 
which is uh, uh, around uh, 0.5% of the total uh, planned uh, CVG production under the Satat scheme. Moving, uh, taking a quick uh, review of the technology, uh, although this is not the focus of the webinar, but uh, going through uh, the technology, this is anaerobic digestion of organic matter under which uh, it is uh, decomposed to uh, produce methane and carbon dioxide. Uh, the bacterial uh, consortium that is um, uh, works under mesophilic range of 30 to 36 degrees Celsius, although it can there is an option of thermophilic uh, consortium, but that requires some kind of uh, cost uh, involvement. And this is the overall uh, reaction. Although this is not the, uh, this process cannot be uh, confined within this one reaction only. This is uh, the process which can be uh, divided into four major steps. First is hydrolysis under which the complex organic matter broken down into biomolecules, carbohydrates into simple sugars, lipids into fatty acids, proteins into amino acids. This is the first process. Next, uh, the step that is acidogenesis, that is uh, volatile fatty acids, carbon dioxide and alcohols are produced from these uh, biomolecules, which are the products of hydrolysis. And next comes acetate production from BFA. And finally, methanogenesis, uh, under which methane is produced from two uh, pathways, and is uh, methane acetate to methane and carbon dioxide, and next to methane and water. After the methane uh, biogas is formed, which contains uh, 55 to 60 percent methane by volume, in comes the downstream processing, under which uh, the major uh, non-methane uh, component, that is carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide, they have to be removed to uh, increase the concentration of methane in the final product uh, so that it can uh, meet the requirement of uh, uh, fuel value and it can uh, be equivalent to that of CNG. This is a comparison of uh, the first product that is biogas and after the downstream processing the compressed biogas as we can see, the methane uh, content from 55 to 60% goes up to 90 to 95% to 97%. And other impurities, uh, CO2 and H2S, they come down. And that improves the calorific value up to 52,000, which is uh, very much uh, similar to that of CNG generated from, uh, from uh, crude source. So there are a number of options of uh, removal of uh, CO2 and H2S, scrubbing uh, is the most common. <clears throat> and that generates uh, uh, CO2, which has a market, as we all know from uh, distillery, uh, uh, the CO2 that is generated that has a market, even th this CO2 can be sold uh, along with uh, the distillery CO2. And the uh, hydrogen sulfide that is uh, separated, that can be obtained as elemental sulfur, which has its uh, way into the fireworks and domestic industries. The manure uh, that comes up that uh, should be separated into solid and liquid manure because the solid manure has its uh, market and can be directly used uh, in place of synthetic fertilizers. And the liquid manure can be partially recycled to the process uh, that also uh, reduces uh, water consumption of the process. And liquid manure, the rest of it can also be applied to the field directly. And uh, as uh, shared by Dr. Patel and uh, the speakers, that solid manure uh, has been declared under the FCO and can come uh, can be sold uh, directly to the farmers. This is an overall uh, elementary uh, flow diagram of the process. Sometimes it differs uh, from case to case. We have references, uh, two references uh, within India, both running on uh, press mud. One within NCR, which uh, gets its uh, press mud from uh, cooperative sugar plants and uh, Haryana Sugar Federation. This is overview of the Varana plant. This is the bioreactor. The Rotak plant. 
which is uh, operating at 250 TPD of Prasma. for the laboratory setup with the gas chromatograph for analysis of the final product. Basket filling station, which uh, fills in the baskets. This is at Rotak and this is at Varana. And uh, as you can see, sugarcane uh, cultivated uh, with addition of uh, manure. Coming to the economic viability uh, of a typical 5000 BCD uh, sugar plant, and, uh, we have focused upon uh, year round operation of uh, the CBG plant. So, the total generation of uh, press mud that uh, can be stored and used year round. And since uh, this involves storage of press mud, and an option has been discussed on uh, using uh, other alternative feedstocks uh, for off crop. So, uh, on the top of that, other alternatives uh, have cost involved, which the press mud doesn't. It is generated uh, within the plant itself. Next is the organic manure production, uh, which uh, also generates uh, additional revenue. The cost involved is power consumption. And as uh, Dr. Patel has said, that the power can be uh, generated within the distillery uh, power plant only, which operates uh, around the year, then uh, this can be eliminated. So in a total generating an annual revenue, uh, for a typical 5000 TCD sugar plant, uh, ROI can be around 5.5 years or a little bit uh, more than 5.5 years. There are some additional advantages of not selling press mud and not handling uh, press mud much. Uh, main being uh, reduces the foul smell and air pollution need for handling and bagging sometimes press mud cannot be sold has to be distributed just like that and the manure is not lost though uh, manure uh, is even then it is available for sale and the farmers won't be deprived and uh, sugar mill apart from uh, producing and generating revenue from uh, cpg Sugar mill can uh, generate revenue from manure and also can uh, the, uh, distribute the manure itself to the farmers. So altogether, it's a very good move, and uh, it is high time that the sugar industry takes this uh, step towards a newer business model and to uh, make all efforts to uh, improve the financial health of the sugar sector and together sugar sector can uh, be Atmanirbhar by itself. So that was all in a nutshell. And, uh, thank you very much. It's a difficult time. Please stay safe. Thank you, thank you Mr. Sayan. Thank you very uh, much. One sir. small question that uh, as you have already given all ROI and cost of uh, project. Sure, sir. Uh, how much is the liquid manure is being generated uh, other than recirculation? In so recirculation is already there. So mm -hmm. what is the, which we are selling or which we are going to pick it out from the system? So uh, liquid manure up to uh, 20 to 30% uh, or even up to 40% can be uh, recycled uh, into the process. And after that, uh, whatever manure is generated, uh, that can be uh, sold and uh, in the Rotak plant uh, that is still, uh, operating uh, already that uh, they have their own uh, field in which they grow their own crops uh, using that liquid manure. The quantity has not been answered. So actually, I haven't uh, uh, okay, okay. Move shown ahead. the mass uh, mass balance of this uh, plan, which can be uh, shared uh, separately. Okay, okay, no issues. Mr. Goyal, please. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Sarkar. Thank you. Uh, we, uh, before I move on to the next presentation, I'd like to reassure every delegate 
that will be uh, bringing out e proceedings of this webinar uh, which will contain the ppt of all the speakers and for mr sarkar there is a suggestion for you you mentioned a cane quantity of 2 crore tons so please yes, check sir. this again okay sure sir. i will sir. And, and correct the cane quantity okay sure sir so we'll uh, and i also request every speaker that after this uh, conclusion of this webinar kindly uh, share your ppt uh, final ppt with the with the sai mr amit khatter and uh, ashish vikram and so that we can bring out the e proceeding there will be in a in, in a proper form with numbering and uh, index etc and you i hope you will find uh, that very useful uh, as soon as we get the ppts from the the, the speakers i will take a couple of days and it will be uploaded on the sai website going sir one more thing uh, i have requested already in the chat that uh, whatever unanswered question in the question and answer can be replied by our uh, speakers who have already presented yes yes i think the the each speaker uh, has uh, has an access to the chat box the questions in the chat box and q and a box and this will also reflect the mail id of the of the of uh, the person who put the question and each speaker can uh... i think sir most of the questions have already been replied mr arulappan has i think already replied more than 13 13 queries 